It's Scary Gary's Boss Beaters. Krang, you're going to take some damage from him because he is very quick in his counters with his, uh, his little kicks that he does. So, two strategies you can try here. First, the standard jump kick in, jump kick out. Just bear in mind, he's going to get some uh, kicks in on you now and then. Uh, you want to stay high if you're going to do this method because if you jump kick too low, his laser vision can hit you and disrupt the whole thing. Uh, alternatively, what I like to do is basically stay below Krang and just do special attacks because you'll find you can get in one, but sometimes even two of these because it, uh, it just takes so long to get that move off. You have to accept that you're probably going to take some damage, but if you're just going to trade with him anyway, I just assume do double damage and eventually you'll take him down. Good call, Gary. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, just accept you're going to get hit. He's too quick. I burn our first life here. That's alright, if we can get to Shredder with a few in the bank, we might have this. Alright, there it is, first death. No death run compromised. But I'll take that at one of the final bosses in an arcade game. You can see we got a double off in there. Depending on the, uh, the, the positioning. The factors. Most just the positioning, but... Uh, also kind of stuns him a little bit too. You, you can rip off a whole mess of those in short succession. He just takes a lot of hits. Still not flashing. That was nice. Got four off. That's eight hits right there. He might take 80 altogether somewhere in that neighborhood or maybe Shredder does, but it's a lot of hits. By 80, I mean 40 of these uh, special moves, because again, these are doing two hits worth. Don't get lazy just because uh, he's flashing. Burn another life, alright. 